Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about three tools or add-ons which makes hard surface modeling way easier. First add-on or tool which we can use is Fluent Add-on, so by pressing F we get this pie menu. These are all the options we get. Now let us add a cube and scale it, then apply the scale. Now press F and select Cut or Add. Then select the face in which you want to cut. Then a grid will appear on top of it. On that grid, we can make shapes which will create a boolean cut of that shape. By holding left click, we get another pie menu, in which these options will appear. First we select bevel. There are three types of bevel predefined in Fluent Add-on. Straight bevel, convex bevel, and concave bevel. We can also go into Edit menu by pressing Tab and change the size and position of our cutter. After making the cut we need to validate it. Now press F again and use slice option. Select this face, and make a shape. Then slide it, or you can press V to cut through in one command. Now hold left click and select mirror. Choose the axis in which you want to mirror your sliced object. And we can also add some bevel to it. After that validate it. Now to see sliced lining we need to add bevel to the slices objects. And if you want also add bevel to main object. We can increase or decrease the amount of bevel in the pie menu itself. Now select Inset option. If we select a point and hold Shift, then make in shape, then the point will become the center of the shape. We can adjust the thickness of inset by this option. And also we can mirror it. Fourth most used option is boolean. So let's add a cube, slide it here, then select both objects, select the cutter object first and then the main object, then press F and self boolean. You can also go to edit mode and make some adjustment here, add some bevel or resize it. We can also see all the cutters in Fluent Add-on. Press F and select Boolean Visibility. Then select any cutter you want and make adjustments according to your likings. These are the shapes. 
we can use, so let's select a circle. Go to circular array. We can adjust the count and radius of array here. How our second tool is, KitOps this is a free add-on, I will put the links for the these three add-ons in the description below. In KitOps some of these are in built insets in its library. Let's select this one and choose one of these. Here first we use to self the object and then select the inset then press add inset. And then slide onto the object face on which you want the inset. You can select the size or manually adjust it. You can also mirror these on desired axis. And to remove the refrain go to object property and uncheck viewport. You can also add decals with kitops. To see the decal go to look dev mode or rendered view. With the help PF kitops you can also add grunge to the decals which is a very useful option that is given in kitops it adds realism to the object. Last and most powerful tool is HardOps. It's the most used add-on by any artist who does hard surface modeling. And guys in this video I'm only showing you the options which I use in modeling. This is not an in-depth review of HardOps. It will take a full video to cover all options of HardOps. If you want full in-depth review please subscribe and like the video. If the video gets 50 likes, I will make an in-depth review of HardOps or any other add-on. To see HardOps menu we need to press Q. After pressing we get these options. It brings all the options and modifiers directly here. So first select Ever Scroll. In Ever Scroll, we can choose the different cutters by scrolling up and down. And after choosing the cutter we can use Array directly and we can change the axis by pressing X and increase the number of array by scrolling up or down we can add bevel to the object slowing our cursor loft or right
and we can also bring symmetry to the object by pressing Alt X. Now using Everscroll we can add bevel to our cutters. We can edit pure cutters, change their position, resize them, change their rotation. So guys, these are some powerful tools which I use to make hard surface modeling easy and you should do it too.